One way to make your music sound more interesting and addictive is to add vocals to your songs. Now you can download royalty-free samples here like I've done, but it always kind of bothered me that everybody else can use them as well, and they weren't always what I was looking for. Now you could get custom samples, but it's going to be a bit more difficult and way more expensive. I'm going to show you how to use kits to solve this. With kits, you get it all exactly the way that you want it. AI voices have tons of practical uses, from demoing your song to other artists, making your music sound more interesting, and finding the perfect voice for your song. Using Kits AI, we now have the ability to blend different voices together to get exactly what you're looking for. So today I'm going to show you guys two different ways that we can go about doing that. So let's get started. Right, so here's a very basic track that I was working on. It's in the very beginning stages right now, but let's hear what it sounds like. So like I said, it's in the very beginning stages right now, but it just sounds very flat and not a whole lot going on. So one easy way to fix that is to add some vocals. All right, here we are at Kits, and to get started, hitting the voice blender. All right, so for the first method and reason why blending vocals can be so helpful is that it allows you to create voices that are unique to you. And if there's a certain sound that you're going for, you can really help dial it in by combining two different voices. And it could not be easier to get started. All we have to do is click Add Voice Model and select our first one. We can also use the filters to find certain ranges, genders, and genres that we're going for, where we can find the female singer-songwriter right there. But then for the second voice, I want something a bit more soulful and gritty. So be selecting the male strained rock right here. Now using a blend ratio of 50-50, it's going to take equal parts from both different voices and create something completely new, which is exactly what I want over here. So now hitting blend. All right, now after a very short waiting period, we've got our combined voice right here. As we can see, male strained rock and female singer songwriter, all to do is go and hit use voice. And then from there, we can go and drop our vocals. And here's the vocals we'll be using today. Look at me, what you waiting for? I don't play hide and seek. Like I did before. Then going on down to advanced settings, we can change up a few different things. I want the uh, conversion strength to be more like 80% and the volume around 75%. Then for a bit of pre-processing, we'll go and do a little bit of auto-tune, nothing crazy, maybe like 0.2 and smooth volumes. And I think that should be good. Going on down to the post-processing, hitting the compressor, and that's all that we're doing here for today. Also, since we have our blended voices right here, let's go and add the individual voices as well. So we'll do the male strained rock and the female singer songwriter. So we've got the blended voice right here, but then also the two individual voices as well. Let's convert all three of those now. I'm really excited to see what this whole new voice that's unique to me can change up these vocals. So once again, here's the original. Look at me, what you waiting for? I don't play hide and seek like I did before. Okay, so first let's hear the male strained rock. Look at me, what you waiting for? I don't play hide and seek like I did before. Now for the female singer-songwriter. Look at me, what you waiting for? I don't play hide and seek like I did before. And now for the blended. Look at me, what you waiting for? I don't play hide and seek like I did before. So you can really hear both elements in here. Obviously, the male voice has a more darker, deeper tone, but then you also have those feminine aspects as well with the singer songwriter combining that perfectly 50 50 that I think will fit my track a little bit better than the original. And once again, this voice belongs to me. It's completely royalty free and I can use it in any way that I please. Okay, now let's jump back on over to FL Studio and plug in our vocals, grabbing them right here and put them in my timeline. All right, let's see how the kids' vocals make my track sound a bit more interesting here. Look at me. What you waiting for? Yeah, it's fitting our track pretty well here. See, like I did before. On my head and tell me you don't want Oh yeah, this is exactly away. what I was looking for here. Cause I can live without your little laugh and pretty face. I can't live without your little laugh. Oh yeah, that's perfect, okay. So I'm very happy with what those vocals did to my track here. It took something that was very dull and stagnant and just really brought it to life. And it's going to be a 100% royalty-free voice here that I can use all to my own and not have to worry about other people using the exact same voice that I'm using. But that's not all that blending voices is good for. You can also use the voice blender to improve on existing voices. That could be any of the voices that you previously trained inside of kits. Whether that be that it's your voice or an artist that you're working with or somebody that you really admire, you can then blend those voices with another voice that you've trained or one of the other public voices as well. Doing this can allow you to increase the vocal range of your voice or add different characteristics and dynamics to your voice too. Now I'm personally no singer, so I don't have a trained model on my voice. So going back on over to Kits AI over here, we're going to pretend that I am the male gritty pop voice over here. And we've got a female vocal loop. So for the second voice, maybe something more like female traditional pop to really extend that range. But again, we only really want characteristics. So we'll go on down to like maybe 80, 20 and then hit blend. 
All right, and this is done over here, so hitting use voice. Plugging in these same vocals over here with the same advanced settings, I also wanna do an export of the male gritty pop on its own without extending the range and blending with another vocal model, which as you can see over here, it even tells me the pitch is too high for this model, which is exactly what I was expecting. So one thing that we can do to help offset that is go down by a whole octave that could possibly work, which as you can see now the pitch level is now good, but that's not really going to take advantage of the range that I want to use for these vocals. So let's give that an export and then do a side-by-side -side comparison. And so here's just the male gritty pop voice without any sort of blending. Look at me. What you waiting for? I don't play hard and seek like I did before. Now my main hope here is to really extend the vocal range because sometimes when you plug in a female vocal loop with a male artist, the loop might be out of the range of that current model. So hopefully this will help out with that. Look at me. What you waiting for? I don't play hide and seek. That's exactly like what I wanted. did before. Then just find cool. the place where you will kiss me. That is exactly what I was going for over here. And just for fun over here, let's go and give it a download. Plug that on into FL Studio as well. Let's go ahead and give this a try here and see if it's anything good. Without you, I'm a mess. So go and fix me. I was waiting for you like a rain in the summer day. Cause I can live without your love, love and pretty face. I can't live without your la 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 love I can't live without your la la love Yeah, I'm a fan. <laughs> and that's just one more example of the amazing features here offered in Kits AI. And one last thing over here, going to my library, just like all of your other voices, your blended models can also be put to public, in which case you can copy the link and share for anyone else to use as well. So with both of the voices that we created here today, there'll be a link down below where you guys can test out these voices that we made here today for yourselves. So if you just want a taste on what the blended voices sound like, you are totally free to use either one of these voices we created here today. I think it's very easy to see how much this feature really opens up Kits AI and the possibilities that you have for adding vocals to your music. And we hope that all of you guys are just as excited as we are to test out this feature. So from all of us here at Kids AI, thank you guys so very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.